I don't know how much one of these packets weigh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my delivery from Car Builders. What they do is make sound deadening, insulation, heat, uh, heat insulation, um, heat wrap, uh, things basically automotive products that will seal in your car, seal the heat in, seal the sound in, all that kind of thing. Obviously this is just a big sardine can right now, so what I want to do is lay all this down on the ground, up the walls, up the ceiling, uh, so I can deaden some of the sound. Now I also want to get some insulation uh, for the heat, but that will be down the track once I sort out getting this thing driving and getting a carpet built for it, because uh, I don't want to keep putting my feet on it, on it with my shoes and things like that and probably ripping it up. This is thinner, um, and so it's more durable, I believe. Um, it's not material, it's more like a, a hard sort of surface. Uh, I've seen people drive around in it for a, a fair amount of time and not have any trouble, so let's open these. They're very heavy, so I'm hoping I don't need all three because I weighed one of them and look at how much it weighed. Okay, we got zero, zero. Wow. 7.2 kilograms. All right, that's one. The other two are the same. So as you can see, 1.8 meters squared. I really have no idea how much I'll need for this, so that's why I got three. I don't want to come up a little bit short halfway through it. Uh, let's open it and see what's inside them. This is it. Apparently there's 12 sheets per, per box. It's got these little lumps along the top. Uh, apparently when you use the roller, to roll it they will go down so you know where you've stuck down and where you haven't. Uh, that's just, you peel that back to get to the sticky side. All pretty straightforward. So yeah, there's 12 sheets. Um, I've already cleaned the cabin, basically wax and grease remover, acetone in some areas if it was really dirty but I gave it a, a twice over of cleaning it just with the rag so it'll stick a lot, or this will adhere a lot better once it's clean so there's no dust and dirt underneath to get in the way of the stickiness or ruin it. Yeah that's about it, just give it a good clean and then start sticking. You can cut the shapes where you need to. I'm going to start from the top so I'll start from, I'll start from up here. Do the back wall down there, then I'll do the firewall, I'll get rid of the heater. Uh, do the firewall, the tunnel, and then finally the floors. I'm not going to do every single square inch, I'm just going to do the main spots. Um, and that should take out most of the noise. Let's see what it sounds like now. You can imagine when the engine's running with the exhaust just how that's going to sound. So, so it's definitely going to be a lot better with the sound deadener. Alright, let's get started. Just one other thing, I bought this install kit, I thought may as well, I think it was about $35. So what's in it? A uh, stubby cup holder, or stubby holder, not a cup. Uh, this is the roller that I'm talking about, so it's not very heavy, I thought it would have a bit of weight to it, it's quite light, just made of wood. Roll along, pretty simple. This was the main reason I got it, apart from the roller, just for the tape, because you can buy that separately, but I may as well just get it all together. Just put it around the edges where there's any, um, or any gaps in the middle or whatever, like if there's something that's not quite lining up, uh, you can just cover it with that. So I wanted that, make it look a bit neater. Beer holder, obviously everyone's doing these things while half cut. Uh, I've got plenty of these, but why not have another one? Oh yeah, cool. I don't know how many spare razors are in there, but I got a few spare razors. Here's a hot tip for you. Make sure you got plenty of the um, aluminium foil tape. I bought a pack of five. You don't want to run out midway through the job. This is obviously overkill, but I'll be putting some of this leftover sound deadener into the Sunny anyway. Oh, sorry, the B310 anyway, so may as well get it all. That should do the job. Okay, so I've given the roof a good wipe down. Let's try to find a better angle. Um, just with wax and grease remover, so let's see how these pieces fit. Hopefully it's only gonna need two for the top. I'm thinking that looks about right. See how big they are. 
It's like one, two, three pieces. Uh, the stuff I got also, they called it black OEM, so it's got no branding or anything on it. I suppose that means it looks stock. So easiest way, pull this back so you can see the sticky bit. I hope it sticks. I guess being upside down, I'll find out pretty quickly if I didn't do a good job of uh, cleaning. And yeah, we'll just go about there, I suppose. As close into the corner as possible without obviously. <laughs> I suppose you've got to be pretty patient with this kind of stuff. I was never good at covering my school books and shit in contact, but this is basically the same sort of task. You give it good pressure, those nodules go down. Easy, easy to see. So that's the ceiling. Um, I'm going to put tape around the edges and in the middle here just to seal it all up. Uh, if you get air bubbles, Oh, there's one there. Just cut it with a blade, push the air out, should be good to go. I didn't get too many surprises. The first one I got none. This one I only got a couple and that middle one I got a fair few. So I guess it depends how well and carefully you place it all down. Uh, so yeah, just be aware of air bubbles. I guess being upside down is a bit annoying but makes it a bit harder so the rest of it should go smoother. back wall is going to be harder because it's got these pressed in pieces to make it stronger so I'm going to have to be careful about making sure there's no air bubbles and putting the pieces there. Probably one, two, that looks like the most logical. I tell you what's annoying, finding grommets that fit those holes, those, those, that. I'm going to auto stores, even the going to auto stores and they don't have that size at all, like what the fuck? 
Do cars, do other cars not have sizes this big? I'm pretty sure they do. When I worked on my Commodore ages ago, it was a similar size, so it's really frustrating. Anyway, so what I'll have to do uh, is um, sound deaden sort of around those spots and then, yeah, well, what a pain in the ass. Uh, so what I'll do is sound deaden up there and down there and around there and leave those for now. I can always put a patch patch piece, like cut out a patch piece of um, sound deaden to go over them. Um, I'd love to get a grommeter around that too, around the wiper, just to stop all that shit coming through, uh, hot air and stuff coming through, and yeah, anyway, I'll just do down this wall here too. Might do that first before I do up there. Uh, and then, other side of the tunnel and the floor, I'll do a bit more across the top there. I'd recommend when going over like these parts, do it bit by bit so you can get into all the creases. Just unfold it slowly, right over it, push it down as you go, and it will be much easier because, yeah, obviously, as you can see, the dips and troughs, the ebbs and troughs are going to make it shorter than when you just lay it out flat, and obviously, you need it to stick down to the metal, so keep that in mind. filled up that one and that one and that one uh, filled up that one and that one with the washer that one's obviously way big so I've got to find a uh, size that'll fit that somewhere probably online but I have to give it a whirl it's like 40 millimeter and as I said I'm surprised that no place has it or it, it's quite uncommon for some reason I'd recommend something like this though uh, a grommet kit. Fortunately, it doesn't have anything big enough, but it, it covers a lot of sizes. So <sighs> already the the two that I filled in were two different sizes. Then you know, like if you just bought a few, this is only like ten bucks anyway, so it's better to get that. And yeah, the two that I filled in already were two different sizes. Um, I thought they were the same size, and so if I went and just bought the individual ones, I would have been wrong anyway because I hadn't measured it beforehand. So I got two packs of these. I got plenty to go around. this over a span of numerous days like I am make sure whenever you come back to it just to give everything a quick vacuum and then or everything that you haven't covered a quick vacuum because a lot of dust accumulates and then the wax and grease remover and maybe the sticky cloth tack cloth too just to get rid of the last bits and pieces because you'll be surprised how much shit gets into especially in a garage So this is the seventh sheet of the second packet. So one packet weighed was 1.8 meters squared and weighed uh, seven kilos, 7.2 kilos. I won't be using this whole sheet, this whole seventh sheet, um, to finish off just these little bits here. So I guess you could say two thirds of a, the second packet that I used, maybe. So. 7.2 plus maybe 4 kilos, so about 11, bit over 11, maybe 11 and a half kilos I've added to the floor, back, and obviously the ceiling a little bit. Uh, so it's not too bad really, uh, considering I want this to be comfortable. Obviously there's going to be the stage 2 coming as well. That will add a bit more weight, I'm not sure how much that weighs, I'll have to figure that out once I get it. Uh, but 
Yeah, it's not too bad considering I want this to be, you know, a comfortable car. Potentially, you know, can use it as a daily driver. Uh, maybe one day get aircon, so this kind of insulation shit's going to help with that. Uh, but it's not too bad considering the amount of power I've added is a lot more than stock. So, 200 horsepower, hopefully a bit more with the tune and the individual throttle bodies and a couple of cams. Uh, as opposed to the stock A12 that this would have had, while it might handle better with the A12, this is going to have a lot more power, more than double. So we should be okay with that little bit of extra weight. Okay, now what I got to do is go around and put that tape down everywhere. That'll be fun. All right, fuck, fuck me, that's done now. Took a while. Took a lot longer than I thought, actually. So. Be prepared. I haven't even done the door door trims, door skins. I haven't done that firewall there, but I want to mount the ECU. So that'll be down the track. Fuck, should I do it now? That just looks annoying. Let me mount the ECU first. I just want to see where I'm going to mount it before I do that firewall. Ah, uh, sorry, that inner firewall there. Um, doors I can do later. Anytime I need to fix them still. Here's the tunnel, firewall, here yeah, a bit patchy there, just because I was putting all my offcuts there, I can probably stick a few more in there, I'll do that while I'm um, now taping everything up, just so tape is good just to hold it in place, cover all the little bits in the middle and yeah, so when you are driving on it, if and when that happens, uh, you're not getting shit caught to your foot and then pulling it up and yeah, so it just makes it less messy. All right, let's get into that. Hold on. So that's that's the leftover of the last sheet that I've got. So not, not a whole lot left, but maybe half at the most. So yeah, as I said, probably about 11 kilos. Um, but now thinking about it, if I do that firewall, once I've mounted the ECU on the left, that's uh, probably gonna be a, another sheet. So that'll be 12 all up. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you me putting this tape on the whole thing. Uh, it's probably one of, probably even more boring than watching me putting on the actual sound deadener, but uh, just wanna give a quick wrap up on this job. While I didn't think it would be a small job, I didn't think it would be a quick job. It definitely took a lot longer than I thought. Um, the more you look, the more you see parts that you may or may not have missed or that you think, oh, should I put something on there or not? Uh, so there's plenty of, like you can really, you can go overboard if you want, and there's nothing wrong with that. You're gonna have a really good sounding cabin then, I'm sure, especially if you want a really good sound system. Um, but yeah, it's, you're crawling around, just gotta keep in mind, you're crawling around inside a fairly small little cabin. Um, yeah, watch, watch the tape as well, because uh, it's aluminium tape. I don't really know how I did it. I didn't do it last time when I was doing it, but today I managed to um, cut myself. Tiny little cut, but fuck, there was a lot of blood. Anyway, so, yeah, it just takes a lot of time. Be prepared to spend a fair bit of time hunched over in a tiny cabin. Uh, if that doesn't sound like fun, which it's not, uh, then maybe this isn't the job for you. But I don't know who you would pay to get it done. Though I'm sure most places would hate doing it too. They'll probably do a better job than us, you or I, but they might have techniques of doing it, get their, you know, some, one of their little apprentice dudes to do it, which is what I would do if I had one. Um, and just, let, this tape is even worse. It's just time consuming. Uh, but yeah, anyway, make sure you budget a fair bit of time to do it. I'm sure the results will be great once you've finished. Um, just, yeah, be prepared to... I'll do it over a span of time, which is what I have done, but I wouldn't try and do it all in one day. You just, you'd get over it. You'd want to shoot someone. Do it over a, over a few weekends, maybe. Uh, when you're in the mood, do a couple of bits here and there. Because my car is not anywhere near me, um, it's a bit harder for me. I have to sort of come here and bang out as much as I can, which I did this over three Saturdays because uh, that's all I could come out to here for and it's, it's about an hour drive from my house so that's why sometimes I'm a bit slow to edit videos because I can't always be out here 
or making videos. Um, give yourself plenty of time, take your time doing it, and you'll get there. Alright, see you on the next one guys.